Hey guys, I was contacted by Depths Tech and they wanted to know if I wanted to try their industrial endoscope. So let's check it out. On the box, it says it has a 4.5 inch IPS screen, Blue Art 2.0 image technology. It's IP67 waterproof, high performance lithium battery, FHD image output, the semi rigid cable. This model has three lenses. So let's open it up. Oh, it's, it's in a nice little semi-rigid case. Okay, so we've got the main unit itself right here. Feels pretty good. It doesn't feel like some cheap old toy or something. What does this say? Please make sure that the USB cable stuck in the locating line. So yeah, I think this is where the camera plugs in, which is a USB style plug. I guess that's what they're talking about there. Um, so yeah, we gotta do this. Ooh. Note the TF card has been inserted into the screen display. Okay, so there's a little SD card of some sort. Yeah, comes with a 32 gigabyte SD card. So I guess you can like take pictures and maybe record video. And then it has a USB connector there. This little rubber door right here feels a little sketchy, but uh, I guess it went in fine. Okay, so let's see what else we got here. Uh, it came with a USB cable, of course, you're going to need that to charge it, and maybe it, maybe it does communicate with PC, I don't know. And then this is the, the camera. Oh, okay, I think I see what they mean by three lenses. So it has one camera here, and it has LED lights. And then it has a camera on this side with an LED light. And it has a camera on this side with an LED light. So it can see, you can see straight into whatever you're putting it into, and it can see the sides. Oh, that's really neat. Okay, so let's see. Let's plug it in. Oh, yeah, and it has to snap in. So I think that's what that... Uh, a uh, little sticker is telling you to, to make sure you get it all the way in. And okay, there's a power button here. We might need to charge it. Oh, no, there we go. It's coming on. There's a button that looks like a light bulb. And that did turn on, that did turn on a light. Or was the light already on? Oh, that turns on that light. 1080p resolution, auto power off is off. Time setting, language, format, reset system, data transmission. version interesting so how do we see the other cameras so that took a, a photo oh that flips it oh okay so that's one of, that's one of the other cam that's the B camera There's the C camera. And that's the A camera. All right, well, I guess what we're gonna need to do is uh, actually uncoil this thing and put it in places and see what we can see. All right, so I've had a problem with my washer where it doesn't wanna drain sometimes. And I've already replaced the pump. Uh, so I figured, Let's shove this 
endoscope camera down in there and see if there's any clog. Now it's gone all the way through and this is right where the pump is at because there's a little flap, like a check valve right here. And I haven't found any clogs or anything like that. So I was kind of hoping I would find a clog. So let's record as we're pulling this back. And we're actually in water right now. So this camera is in water and it's working. But there's definitely, doesn't appear to be any clogs. And I've got a little hook attachment on in case I did encounter something I could uh, pull out, possibly any clogs. And here we go. So that's the little hook, hook attachment. Well, that was a neat experiment. It, it went all the way through the drain tube, but we didn't find anything. All right, so I did find something that was a little quirky about it. Um, you know, I recorded the video while I was pulling the endoscope back out of that tube. And that video file, I transferred it over to my PC. I actually just took the memory card out and put it into a memory card reader and it read it just fine. And I copied that file over and then I played it just in Windows Media Player. Uh -oh. And the first half of it played just fine but then it kind of it got into the middle and it crashed. Uh, Windows Media Player. So then I imported it into my video editing software so I could include it into um, the video you're watching right now. And it just crashed my video editing software as well. <laughs> uh, so I think that functionality uh, recording the video seems a little busted. Maybe there's some kind of software or firmware up, uh, update for this. But other than that, it's a pretty neat little tool. For me, it's one of those things where I probably won't use it very often. But the times that when you need something like this, when you need to get into a, an area where you can't possibly see, maybe inside of a, an engine cylinder or you know a gas tank or in the wall or something like that. This would definitely be a very good tool to have. And now I know that my washing machine uh, isn't clogged, so I'll, maybe I just bought a cheap old pump and it's not that good. <laughs> That's very possible. But anyways, I think that's gonna be the end of the video, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.